Hey guys, it's Mike White with Baby Monkey Studios, and I'm back with another tutorial for you after a long absence. Uh, this time we're dealing with X-Cart 5. I think I, I beat the X-Cart 4 subject to death, so I'm moving on. No, not really. I'm actually uh, still working with both. But uh, X-Cart 5 is starting to come into its own, and I'm starting to use it. So let's take a look. So today we're going to talk about something that was very difficult for me, and it taught me several uh, different things by, by going through the steps and getting it done. Uh, I'm trying to remove or and edit, ultimately, uh, the primary menu that goes across the top in XCart 5. It's also called the top menu, but the uh, simple CMS module refers to it as the primary menu, and I think that's the name where most of us are going to know it by. Okay, so here's the menu in question. This is what we want to get rid of. And I'm going to go about this a little differently. I'm going to do this backwards. First, I'm going to show you how to do it. Then I'm going to show you how I figured out that that's what we needed to do. Uh, so let's take a look. Okay, so this is assuming that you have a custom module already created. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is, is, is build my own module that I plan on distributing to multiple XCART sites. So I, I can't do this by just editing the skin. Uh, you know, you can create your own skin, and I think you could uh, overwrite the template that's controlling this, no problem. Uh, it's, it's just a customer side template, uh, default slash en slash top menu dot tpl. Um, so you could overwrite that template uh, very easily. But in this case, it's a module that stands alone, and it, it doesn't have a skin associated with it. So we need to be able to unset this template or change this template within our own module, okay? And I actually uh, found this wonderful little file here. It's at uh, xlight uh, slash core slash layout dot php. And um, anyway, it's it's just a wonderful, it's a class here, and, and it has a lot of tools in it. And the tool that we're going to use is remove class from lists. Now I just want to take a second and explain this is to remove the class from uh, to remove a class uh, like a viewer class. And this, uh, where is it? Oh, that's add class. Is to remove templates. Now I would normally have used this uh, function right here: remove templates from list or remove template from lists. Um, but it is only going to affect templates that are actually in lists uh, inside the template structure, which is a little confusing at first because we also have lists of classes. So it's kind of like there's these main viewer classes that control uh, at the top level uh, what gets displayed and what primary templates get called. And then there's the actual templates that are called the lists of templates that are created from within templates. I know that's a little confusing, but hopefully I'll explain this better later. So we're just looking for the solution. Uh, we're trying to get to the answer quickly for you guys. And so what ended up happening is I, in my main.php of my module, um, you know, we're, we're in, in my module, xlight module baby drop down. Uh, this is my uh, main.php that I have created here. And we are calling a, a function called run build cache handler, which I can show, explain to you too later, perhaps. But uh, that is, I just found this example and, and used it. Um, and we are going to use the remove class from lists. I'm going to uncomment this code that I had pre prepared here. And basically, we're just calling xlight core layout inside this function, run build cache handler. I mean, yeah, right here. Uh, get instance, remove class from lists, xlight view menu customer top. So that pulls that viewer class out of the entire structure and it is just not displayed. And we're going to go ahead and see the effect of that. We'll save it and we'll go back to the front. And we will rebuild our cache, which I won't make you wait for. Aren't I nice? Okay, so it just came back up. And as you can see, we have removed completely that top bar. 
Okay, so that's the solution, guys. Now stick around if you want to figure out how I determined that. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and put it back. Let's put that guy back. Told you this is going to be backwards, sort of. And we'll make sure it comes back. By the way, I, I believe you have to rebuild the cache every time because we're actually effect affecting the class's structure and uh, that's going to require a cache rebuild. This is not an easy refresh change. Okay, there's our bar back where it was. And uh, first of all, I'm going to show you this extension back here. I believe I need to navigate it like this to it. And bear with me, guys. I'm still a noob at this cart. I mean, I really am. I'm, I'm getting there, but I'm by no means there. I have this Webmaster Kit installed that just got released with the latest version, which is right now 5.0.13. And previously, I think we had it in light commerce, which is really strange. That's off topic, but uh, it just got released for Xcart 5. I'm going to hit settings on it just to show you that what I have checked here. Profiler enabled and mark templates. I'm still not sure what these other things do. Uh, okay, so now let's go back to the front side. And that's, that's what's causing this enable tracing uh, button that's been here the whole time. Uh, those things have been checked. So we're going to enable tracing. And we're going to hover over this element, and it tells us that the skin is default. Let me try see if I can zoom in here. Default en top underscore menu dot tpl, and it also tells us that the template ID is coming from this class. Oh, the template ID is thirty five, and the class is x light view menu customer top. That's what actually mattered in this instance. Uh, sometimes you can just look at the template. Like for instance, this uh, default uh, slash en layout main dot header dot tpl. If we wanted to remove that, well, that's actually uh, one of the files that's called in the template structure. Uh, the template list is what I'm calling them, and then the the other, uh, but the one we wanted to work with is in the classes list. That's really what prompted me to make this tutorial. Is that part right there stumped me for quite a while until I understood that there was two different things, and and that's why I figured there's a lot to learn. Uh, about watching this. Okay, so now we know what we're looking for. So we're just going to pop over here. And uh, by the way, I'm, I'm using Sublime Text 2 now instead of Notepad. I really like it. And I stole that idea from Tony uh, from the XCart team. He's, he was using it in his tutorials, and I said, wow, that's a slick uh, editor. I had to get it. So uh, while I'm also while I'm promoting software, let me go ahead and also say that EWD hosting is uh, the best host out there that I've found and they provide us me free space and kind of help me do these tutorials just by letting me have a development server to play with uh, and it's it's wonderful thanks so thanks Emerson all right back to business we're gonna search control uh, shift F and we're gonna search on that uh, template that I found now, a lot of times, with a lot of templates, you'll search for a template and not find it in the file structure. And that's because it's in a templates list. Uh, it's being called differently. But uh, some of the most basic templates, like I said, are defined in actual classes and viewer classes. Uh, and so that's where we can find, uh, find this. And so I'm just searching my entire Xcart directory. We're here on my local computer this time. All right, and it doesn't find anything. Now I'm taking you down the path that I went on. So I tried searching for just top menu. Assuming that maybe it knew that it was going to be in default slash en. Aha! Well, we're seeing references here to module baby drop down. Not, 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 not helpful because that's the one we've already, where I've already referenced it. But this second one here uh, is xcart classes x -Lite view menu customer top okay cool now we're starting to see something that's also where we could tell it was called uh, in the uh, uh, in, with the enable tracing on with the webmaster kit it told us that it was in view menu customer top okay and we can see if we go look at that we really don't need to it's returning this top menu tpl so I'm taking you down my whole path so so you know maybe you'll you'll find this helpful um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to just write over or control extend this customer top.php, which I think is the, the best way to do this, um, or at least one way to do this. Now, when I did that, 
my changes did not take effect. So this gives me a lot of things to tell you about. First of all, my developer ID is baby, because I'm a, I'm a baby monkey. And uh, CDEV has a module, uh, CDEV Simple CMS, and their module actually is comes after mine alphabetically because of their developer ID. Uh, which I don't know if this is something we're going to have to fix in the future with this, but at this point, developer IDs alphabetically take priority from what I can tell. So uh, their module was overriding what I was trying to do. And I'll show you uh, an example of what I was trying to do. Let me find it real quick, not waste your time. Okay, so in my module, which is an Xcart Classes Xlite module, baby dropdown, my developer ID, name of my module, uh, view, um, <clears throat> I have this dropdown menu.php, which is my viewer to, to show the menu to the world. And uh, I have this class dropdown menu. And what I what I should have what I originally intended to do was something like this, um, and you know put X light view customer top oh excuse me extends yeah class drop down menu extends X light view menu customer top and implements the decorator okay and that is the way you would you know add on to a, a class that already exists. And again, it didn't work for me, and I and I was baffled why. I'm just going to change that back. And um, and it is because CDEV has this module, simple CMS. Oh, and let me figure out. Let me tell you how I figured out that this is what was happening. Uh, down here in the var folder. Apologize, it's there's a lot of uh, files here to look through. Okay, var run classes, xlite module nope view like I said newbie uh, where is it oh it's view menu Whew, gosh view menu <clears throat> customer top I see here class top extends xlate module C dev simple CMS so see when I went to the the var folder to see if my changes were, were propagating over here into the compiled classes, I, I saw this and I was like, oh no, it's not saying, you know, my class uh, is extending this. It's uh, it's giving me this class uh, from the simple CMS module. And that's when I discovered this alphabetical, I won't really call it a problem, but it's a, it's a, it's a reality. Okay, so um, anyway, let's look at how they're their class is extending it. I guess we already kind of did that. Uh, yeah, here's here's their class right here, and it's extending that top. So whatever I did uh, in my drop down that PHP to overwrite this, nothing helped. Okay, um, so that's that's what led me to well, we have to actually unset that class and take it out completely. Now, I know this is running long, but I'm going to also just mention to you how I, I mentioned how other templates uh, are called and, and to the templates list. So let's let's look back over here. Um, you know, again, this is just a function of my main.php, and it is to remove the existing top menu. And what it, all we're doing, this is the solution to the problem, is we're pulling that class top completely out. So it doesn't matter that it got decorated by uh, the CDEB module. It's just, it's just going to be removed completely. It doesn't matter. So um, maybe it's not the best thing to do, but it's, it's the only solution that I have at this time. Obviously, if I can find a better one, I'll probably publish a tutorial about that, and you'll see both ways. Um, but another way uh, to, to pull a, a template out is right here. Let's look at this. See, I've got, this is kind of a bonus section, uh, the same kind of call except remove template from lists, layout header.logo.tpl. See, I tried to do this with top menu.tpl. You can see that commented out right there, um, but, but it didn't work. And the reason it didn't work is because this template is controlled in the viewer classes, not in the, in the viewer class lists, not in the template list. That's what I'm calling them. 
um, and and just an example of one that is is controlled by the template list is this layout header dot logo dot tpl let me find that real quick okay this is all hopefully going to start making a little more sense in a second so in skins default in customer side basically uh, in layout we have header dot logo dot tpl okay and this is defined it's included by list layout dot header and it's actually right up here in these in these comments which normally don't make any sense i mean normally have no effect but in in xcart 5 they do uh they're php dot comments and this is uh the list that this template is going to be pulled into so this is an example of the template lists okay so just in case uh now again you know if you're making your own skin uh this might not be the best way to do it because you can just recreate these templates inside your own skin and if that skin's active it's going to take priority but uh if you're building a module that needs to stand alone uh then then you're going to need to do it the way i'm doing it here so uh because we don't have a you know we're not building our own skin we don't want our uh, skin to be included with our module uh and 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 overwrite whatever custom skin these people might already have Okay, so we're going to go back over here to uh, main.php and just get another little this, look at this snippet, snippet one more time. So see, I'm removing the template from lists. Layout slash header dot logo dot TPL. I don't know if that's helpful, me scrolling back and forth. But uh, you can see what I'm looking at. So it, it's just x -like core layout, get instance, remove template from list, layout dot slash header dot logo dot TPL. Okay. So I'm going to save this, and we'll see the effect that it had. So there's the logo right now, and I've started the cache rebuild. And you'll see our friendly little logo and the uh, top bar are both gone now. And uh, one was pulled out of the templates list, and the other out of the classes list. I know I've beat that to death, but hopefully everybody's got it. And uh, all right. I wish you good luck in all your e-commerce efforts. This is Mike White signing off. Talk to you soon.